Yo, what's good, man? My name is Flimlo Raps. Wanna welcome y'all back to the channel. Today, I got something hella special for y'all. So in my last video, I told you guys I was going on a trip. Just got back and I gotta say, trip was pretty dope. Now I gotta send a shout out to one of the major sponsors on this channel, SeatGeek, man. They brought us out, they paid for everything, and they basically set this whole thing up as kind of a treat for some of the channels that they sponsored. Fortunately, I was included on that list. <laughs> I got to participate in a mini YouTuber combine where we ran the 40 and everything. Play seven on seven at the Dallas Cowboys practice facility versus some of your other favorite YouTubers. And I got to sit in a luxury suite at the Dallas Cowboys football game and bro, the experience from when I went a couple weeks ago to this, completely different. And if you wanna be able to gauge your viewing experience before you even get to the game, you can do so using the app provided by the sponsors of this video, SeatGeek. Their app aggregates tickets from all over the internet with the sole purpose of making the buying experience more simple for you. They grade each ticket on the scale from one to 100, allowing you to quickly assess the value of each deal. They also allow you to preview the view of each ticket so you'll know if you're gonna have seats like this, or sees there's something closer to this. And you can do that all from the app. If you wanna download the SeatGeek app, man, click the link in the description. And don't forget to use my code FLIMLO for $20 off your first purchase. Let's get it. Yo, I almost forgot. Cue the wang. Yeah, I'm no quitter, cause I'ma go, I'ma go, I'ma go get it. All right, man, so we here in downtown Dallas. I'm trying to hit this. Dude, look at this. Y'all see that? Rooftop pool. Yeah, we definitely hitting that tonight. Big and back bamboo. Yeah. Trigger happy as goons. Yeah. Bigger mansion and pool. Yeah. I need a map for this room. But be, before we get the opportunity to do that, I'm actually sit right here. It looks kind of cool. Before we get the opportunity to do that, we got to first go to the Cowboys practice facility where we're going to be... Having a, a couple of drills, right? Let the go up here, man. They talking about running a damn 40. I'm like, listen, bro. Listen, 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 bro. Listen. I'm 30 years old. You can't just spring a 40-yard dash on me. I needed to know this two months ago, bro, so I could train. You know what I'm saying? I want to go out here and pull up. <laughs> you see what I mean? I got my little, my little running shoes. I got a basketball shirt on because, you know, flim low shit. We went out for drinks last night. You know, not the smartest move. Not the smartest move. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whoa, what's good, man? My name is Flum Low Raps. We at the uh, Dallas Cowboys practice facility. We about to get it in and we're gonna bring it to you. Okay, hey, we gotta be the same team. Let's go white. Okay. Oh, uh, did right. I just interrupt your intro? You no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Alright, so you know how you had that one friend who got like this one phrase that he says basically for everything in my circles is usually something like facts or big facts 100 lit already turn up easy work light work you know something like that but on this trip i swear every two seconds kto was saying all day all day yeah i'm back in the booth <sighs> my dad be hella envious of me right now bro hella envious they got me signing this waiver Cause they know I'm about to pop a f***ing kneecap in this You look like you had a 7 on 7 camp with that on <laughs> <laughs> Like a coach? You literally got yeah, a coach Yo, oh, who do we get this to? Uh, you're like a deep coordinator at a high school Oh uh, shit, I'm, I'm dialing up the blitz every play You know what I'm saying? Yeah right, why? I'll get open I'm saying yeah, you say know. I look like a deep coordinator, I'm dialing up the blitz Oh, I Aggressive. you man, like your blitz is Yeah, okay, okay. Now, I don't really think the cats who was putting us through these drills understood exactly what we did. Matter of fact, I know they did. We were running these patent goals for like 10 minutes and they had the nerve to say, oh, y'all out of breath already? Yeah. We sit in a chair all day, bro. Not just for the little time I'm recording this, but dude, it's gonna take hours to edit this. And then a lot of us stream for hours like, this is every day. Yeah, 
We're winded. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, it take a lot for me to get loose. Like a lot for me to get loose. So this pat and go really helped out, man. And my legs slowly started to warm up, although I never completely felt loose. And there was not one point where I wasn't pretty sure I was gonna pull my hamstring, but I made it. Mama said God took his time when he made me. I put my pride to the side of safety. I'm on a diet, on a diet from the fake beef. Cause in my eyes, all that I see is dead meat. Mama said God took his time when he made me. I put my pride to the side of safety. I'm on a diet, on a diet from the fake beef. Cause in my eyes, all that I see is dead meat. Mama said. <laughs> So we in the line running the 40 and a lot of cats is turning in five second 40s, there's a few five nines. So I get up there completely prepared to run like a damn five five. And to my surprise, your boy ran a four eight five. I was good with it. I mean, the dude in front of me was a track guy. He looked like a track guy. Now he's a jumper, not really a sprinter, but you know, he's in great shape. He's like 22, way like 160, he ran a four eight. So I was like, hey, I'll take it. I'll take the four eight five. I mean, I'm six two, 240 pounds. All right, 6'2", 240 pounds, 30 years old. I'm a big dude and I'm an old dude for, for running 40. Like when the last time you seen a 30 year old run a 40? Exactly. Now listen, if you hate, and I do understand these are hand times, okay? But you can't take this from me, all right? Do you know what this did to my self esteem? I'm like, I'm keeping that and I'm gonna use it in other areas of my life. So I don't really wanna hear it. You can't take this away from me, bro. Don't even try. So after that, we was pretty much all spent. And they say, yo, it's time for seven on seven. Cool. On my team, all the football YouTubers, and just from knowing like this much about like route combinations and coverages, we thrashed everybody. Like athletically, we were not superior to anybody, okay? Or at least I ain't think so. But just from an execution standpoint, first and foremost, Karsten was throwing dots. Tree was busting heads. Five points, AKA Heinz Ward was carving them up in the slot. And I was just kind of the secret weapon, okay? I'm literally open every play. Yo, and guess who was covering me, bro? Dude is hilarious from RCD World. Dude's hilarious. Anyway, he was checking me though. He had to get that work. God took his time when he made me. Yeah, God took his time when he made me. Put my pride to the side of safety. And look alive, look alive.
Right here, baby. Yo, side note, when I moved to Texas, I was 260 pounds, right? I've since then lost 20 pounds. I'm now 240. But after watching this goddamn video back, I'm going to have to drop another 20. I'm already on it. Yep, it's coming. All right, man, there's probably no chance y'all can actually hear me because it's bad. Uh, the speaker behind me is like getting off. You feel me? But we had a... Uh, AT&T Stadium again, y'all can see I'm repped out, baby. They had me in all Cowboys gear yesterday. I had to switch that shit around. But we got a look. Got the squad, you know what I mean? Urinate Tree, KTO, and my dog, five points. We in this bitch. About to go in the, the presidential suite and see what's up. We got a long way to walk, though. They have no idea. <laughs> man so in the end it was fun man it was a great experience i ran into a couple fans at the game it was cool meeting these other youtubers some who i've talked to over social media some whose channels i've just watched for a very long time or at least followed for a very long time all in all the trip was fun bro i had a good time um kicking it with some of the youtubers who i'm already cool with i've had conversations over social media before obviously kto and i have hung out multiple times that's my guy spent a lot of time chilling with urinating tree and five points those dudes are hella cool as well i feel like it was a good hard reset for me i'm not gonna lie one of the major things i noticed is just how different like my my thought processes and everything are and i don't mean that in a bad way i just feel like you know it's time for me to continue to lean further and further into that into the things that make flim low raps unique and, and focus less on the things that i might lack or i might not be the best at and i feel like it's a lesson in that for all of us man lean all the way into your strengths bro that's that's what i'm about to do even more so than i've already been doing I'm not gonna be scared to try new stuff so i can kind of figure out exactly what my place is here on this website like i don't think i'm quite like anybody else and that's a good thing but you know it just kind of puts you in a place where there's not a ton of examples you know what i'm saying so you're just kind of out here trying to figure it out on your own lastly man i just want to thank c geek once again for bringing me out i want to thank all of y'all the viewers man for checking out this video man i hope y'all enjoyed it thank y'all for supporting the channel over the last few years don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you dug this and hit me up in the comment section i'm gonna let you next time my name is flimlo raps